Although dinosaurs are often envisioned as giants, they came in a variety of sizes. Most of the familiar small dinosaurs are theropods, some of whom survive to the modern day. But there are other types of small and unusual dinosaurs. Among these was the South American Ornithischian Manadens condorinus. Manadens had large fangs, and its less showy teeth have helped paleontologists understand the early evolution of herbivory among its relatives. Furthermore, fossils that may belong to either Manadens or closely related dinosaur have traits which suggest it was arboreal, meaning it lived in the trees. Manadens was first described in 2011. The genus name Manadens means hand teeth, which references how the teeth at the back of its skull basically resemble it. The species name, Condorensis, is in reference to the Patagonian village of Cerro Condor where the holotype specimen was found. Another dinosaur, the theropod Condoraptor, is also named after Cerro Condor. It and the fellow carnosaur Piatnitskisaurus would have been among the top dangers Manadens would have faced. All three of these dinosaurs lived between 179 to 175 million years ago during the Middle Jurassic. Manadens was a member of Heterodontosauridae, a clade of basal ornithischians with similar tusk-like teeth. Manadens belongs to a smaller clade within Heterodontosauridae named Heterodontosaurinae, which includes Heterodontosaurus itself. All other Heterodontosaurines are from South Africa, which at the time was close to its native South America. It was a small biped, with the same overall body shape of the rest of Heterodontosauridae and other unspecialized Ornithischians. Even compared to them, it was tiny, with the largest estimates for its length only coming to 75 centimeters. This leaves it tied with fellow Heterodontosaurids Frutidens and Tianulong for the title of smallest Ornithischian dinosaur. Manadens' eyes were larger and its skull shorter than Heterodontosaurus. This shape is similar to young Heterodontosaurus, but the Manadens holotype seems to have been an adult given the fusion of its skull bones and vertebrae. Indeed, the fusion between its vertebrae is actually typical of an old Ornithischian. The most famous trait of Manadens is its hind limbs, although it is not certain whether these fossils even belong to it since the specimen which includes the hind limbs does not overlap with any other Manadens material. However, the fossils were at least from a heterodontosaurid of equal size and the same time and place as manadens. Therefore, they will tentatively be assumed to be from manadens in this video. There are several traits in these fossilized feet which suggest manadens was arboreal, a tree dweller. The toes are longer than those of other ornithischians and have narrow curved claws which resemble those of today's tree dwelling birds. The smallest toe, digit 1, was at the back of the foot, like other ornithischians and theropods. However, it was longer, and while it was still unable to touch the ground, it could have grasped branches with the other elongated toes, much like digit 1 in modern birds. When the feet were placed under a principal component analysis, they were found to be functionally similar to those of modern arboreal birds and some extinct theropods, like Microraptor, who were also suspected to have spent large amounts of time in the trees. However, there was also overlap with ground-dwelling birds. Since Manadens was about the same size as a cat, it could easily scurry along branches without fear of breaking them. Finally, even though Manadens' forelimbs, tentative or otherwise, have not yet been found, the arms of other heterodontosaurids were long and had large, curved claws. Assuming it had similar arms, they would have been very effective at climbing trees. Altogether, Manadens seems to have had all the tools needed to be an effective tree dweller. While Manadens feet may be its most unusual and novel feature, the majority of the research relating to it is focused on its teeth. While most reptiles have one basic type of tooth, Heterodontosaurid means different toothed lizard, which is in reference to how Manadens and its relatives has multiple tooth shapes. The most notable Heterodontosaurid teeth are the tusk-like teeth at the front of their jaws. The lower jaw of one manadin specimen has a second pair of smaller tusk like teeth, although they are absent in other specimens. There are different hypotheses about the purpose of heterodontosaurid tusks. It was once thought that they were inherited from the carnivorous ancestors of the dinosaurs. However, 
More recent research has found that such teeth were lost much earlier in Ornithischian evolution, so a more likely hypothesis is that manadins used them in combat with other members of the same species, much like the fangs of some modern animals such as the one jack deer. As for the rest of the teeth, there is a small conical tooth between the two tusks. Behind the not always present second tusk is a tooth with a shape intermediate between the tusks and the hand-shaped teeth behind them. They were used for grinding up plant matter and were positioned so that they could shear against each other twice with each bite. Like most other reptiles, manadins replaced its teeth throughout its life. This was done in a wave pattern, with the teeth at the front being replaced first. Manadins' teeth lack the extensive wear of Heterodontosaurus, despite the apparent age of the manadins' holotype. However, like Heterodontosaurus, they have high crowns and are closely packed together in a dental battery. The order these traits were acquired during heterodontosaurid evolution is the opposite of what happened during the evolution of both other Ornithischians, like the Ceratopsians, and Herbivorous They exhibited high tooth wear first, and then evolved higher tooth crowns. Although plants were certainly an important part of Manadin's diet, some other heterodontosaurids, like Frutidens, were omnivores. In a recent study of the teeth of early dinosaurs, a morphological analysis of the teeth found manadins to be a pure herbivore, but an accompanying biomechanical analysis found it to be a carnivore. The authors of the papers doubted the later result, citing that the software lacked a modern analog for manadin's unique teeth and didn't take into account that they were arranged in a dental battery. Regardless of whether manadins was an herbivore or an omnivore, or even a tree dweller, it was a very unique dinosaur. Thank you for watching, and a thank you to the Metalorian for narrating this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the like button, and subscribe if you'd like to see more.